almost all games are gonna turn free to play pretty soon. Why? Because humans are naive. They're pretty dumb. Little Ralph over here invented the first video game, and that gave birth to the video game industry, a behemoth that's now part of everyday life. Oh, and apparently it promotes terrorism. Anyway, this thing, this industry, only exists because of money. It needs to generate revenue, therefore video games cost money. We are used to games costing 20 bucks or more nowadays, but have you noticed that the most popular games, the ones that bring in the most income, are free? Why is that? And why will all video games be free? The reason is a little bit complicated, but I'm sure you'll understand. Let's start at the beginning. Video games were created, but mainly played only in universities. Then space war came along, bringing recognition to something not many could afford. And then boom. 1967. The brown box was invented. It was the first console. Many more consoles appeared afterwards, and even computer gaming started being a thing. And then... Eventually, 2004. World of Warcraft, a milestone for modern day gaming. But unlike other games at that time, that required you to purchase them, World of Warcraft was using a subscription model. This made sure that not only would you have to keep playing to make the most out of your money every month, but it also encouraged the developers to keep updating and expanding the immense in-game world. Because of its popularity, this game's budget and community managed to beat everything else surpassing every limit and making a handful of people very rich. But one-time purchases weren't dead yet. You see, many games couldn't have a universe that lived forever. The Battlefield or the Call of Duty series, for example, still relied on you buying every new release. And it wasn't that bad. Developers were putting everything they had into every game. After all, a bad game would result in bad sales, right? Well, not really. Battlefield 3 released in 2011 and had great success. Everyone loved it, and what they were eager to love more was its successor, Battlefield 4. And oh f A few people pre-ordered the game, some of their friends pre-ordered it too, and it kept happening. It spread like the plague. They had developed FOMO, fear of missing out. And what they thought will be the best game ever ended up being barely functional. This is even stated on the wiki. Upon release, Battlefield 4 was riddled with major technical bugs, glitches and crashes across all platforms. An EA representative said, and I quote, We know we still have a ways to go with fixing the game. It is absolutely our number one priority. Yes, they were fixing the game. They did eventually fix the game. But a few people realized something. The company already made the money. The only thing left to do was to deliver what they promised, but what if they didn't? The game was already a somewhat functional game, at least after a few fixes, but it was still far away from being what everyone expected. Or was it? What if it was just overhyped? What if they did consider it finished? Or what if they even asked for more support to supposedly deliver a proper end product? Yeah, Battlefield 4 wasn't really the first scam though. The biggest one of them all actually happened before Battlefield 4 released. Star Citizen asked for half a million dollars and got two million dollars. Then it raised over 500 million as of September 2022 and it's still not finished. But that topic requires an entire video and if you don't want to miss out on that or some of the other interesting topics I might cover, consider subscribing and clicking the bell. That's probably more than enough. Now, let's pick up the pace a bit. 2020. Covid started being very cool, and everyone apparently wanted to have it, but they also eventually got locked in their homes. And then boom. While everyone was stuck home, Genshin Impact made its debut. This game was about, um, anime, women, and fighting monsters. Take my money. Oh, but wait. It's free. Why does it seem like it's such a good game, but it's free and when you open it, you can actually play it? Is there something fishy behind it? Let me just open it. I mean, it's a good game, it's fun, you can kill things, and you also get rewarded little rewards. You finish some tutorials and, oh, apparently you can buy a little loot box. Or is it called a wish? I don't even know. It has a chance of giving you something good, but I'm not falling for this, right? It's a new character, she is kinda cute, and she's strong too. Well, I don't need that. I have the two star one. It's not four stars, but you know. Although I kinda wanna buy it now. Do you understand why free games are better? Everyone can try. They play, receive all the bread as a reward, but they could always buy a box of candy, or steak, or whatever, 
you get the point. But you know what's better? Making someone earn it after paying. What would you call that? Fraud? No, 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 no. Here at Free Game HQ, we call this a battle pass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sounds good, right? I'm not gonna play until I get level 20 to show you, but it's simple. Shit, free stuff, good paid stuff. You'll play the game either way. Would you rather have the good stuff or the old bread? That's up to you. Nowadays, way more games are making their debut as free to play. And a lot of them are even turning free to play. But sadly, they are sometimes doing it as a last resort attempt at reviving the game. CSGO did it right. They made the game free after it was already hugely popular, only to make it more popular by giving access to people who have never tried it. This of course increases the probability of cheaters, since they don't need to buy it and risk losing money when they get banned. But they easily fixed it by having separate queues for free to play players and paid players, increasing the incentive to buy the game, to avoid cheaters. A game that did this wrong is PUBG. Player unknowns battlegrounds, it blew up in popularity, cheaters caught on quickly, ruined the game, then player count plummeted, game turned free as a last resort, allowing more cheaters and this is the result. Right now as of 2023 more and more games are trying to become free to play giants. It's risky, many people hate the monetization methods usually used in these games, but it also offers your game a chance to flourish. Well. Hmm. That's it for now. Thank you for sticking through and put the video on loop, cause, you know, I wanna make some money for some loot boxes. And uh, see you soon.